Hey, listen, uh, just doing a quick video. I uh, wanted to come on here and give 10 protocols for a man of God. What you must stop doing on social media and understanding access to people and honor, right? So listen up so you can share this with others. Number one, number one, stop, stop begging, stop begging for money. Stop begging for help. Stop begging for support. You are a man of faith. You are a person of faith. You've got to be a person of honor. You've got to be a person of understanding. You're not a panhandler. You're not a beggar. You're a man of God. All right? That's protocol number one on social media. Stop begging people for money. Stop private messaging them. All right? Number two. Stop calling other men of God on messenger without an appointment. Protocol number two, stop calling men of God on messenger without an appointment. You've got to learn protocol. Listen to me. You private message somebody and then wait for a reply. If you're demanding, listen to me. If you're demanding, don't be surprised if you don't get blocked by a man of God. Wait and honor their time, all right? Listen to me. I'm giving you 10 protocols that you've got to understand as pastors, ministers, apostles, prophets, whatever you are. You've got to understand that other people in the ministry, they are, they are very busy as well, all right? So I'm giving you some protocols. Number three, you all share this because I'm sure some of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Stop sending memes that don't apply to people, all right? Number four, Stop tagging people in your posts that have no connection to you. If you've never been in my congregation, if I've never been in yours, don't tag me in your posts. You know, that just irritates people. I start getting, you know, hundreds of, of uh, messages and something I'm not even connected to. Number five protocol, all right? Stop contacting people in their congregation and their friends and trying to get support from them that way. Number six, stop using Messenger as your phone hotline to other pastors and ministers. It's for their convenience, not for yours. Listen, you've, you've got to understand protocols in ministry. You, if you're a pastor, a minister, whatever, wherever you are in the world, you've got to understand protocols uh, in the ministry and how to act into other people's lives. Access is a gift. It is, you know, it's not uh, something that you demand from people. Number seven, that is number seven. Access is a gift that's granted to you. Number eight, if you present yourself, listen to me very closely, if you present yourself as desperate or thirsty, you're going to destroy your credibility, all right? You are going to destroy your credibility. I don't, you know, if, if I'm going to approach another man of God and, I, and my only connection to him is through Facebook, I'm going to, I'm going to honor, first of all, that he even uh, accepted me as a friend and number two, I'm not going to start hotline calling him. You know, sometimes I'm sitting at a drive through at McDonald's trying to, uh, you know, give the person my order and my phone is blowing up because people don't understand protocol and they don't understand access. If you need to talk to a man of God, private message him, you know, type him a text and wait on him to reply. Otherwise, you are destroying your credibility. Number, uh, Lord have mercy. Number nine, think. Think before you contact somebody. Think. If you make yourself a nuisance to other people, they will avoid you. Think. Number 10, stop calling people your spiritual daddy if they have never corrected you. Every day, I'm getting messages from people calling me they, their daddy, calling me their father. If I have not corrected you, if I have not corrected you, I am not your spiritual father. And lastly, please look and see if someone is live teaching before you call their phone because it interrupts their teaching video. If you really want 
to have access to a man of God, that's the worst thing that you can do. You guys that are sitting on Messenger and waiting on people to pop up so that you can start calling them, you are, you are destroying your credibility. And you got to stop. Stop begging for money. Stop making yourself look like a panhandler. You're a man of God. You got to stop that mess. Stop calling other people, other men of God on Messenger without an appointment. This is protocol. You, you don't just come beating on somebody's door. Or, a person's phone is not there for your convenience to contact them. It's for their convenience. Have some respect, get some honor, and get some understanding. That's protocol. All right? So you can send this on down the line. Send, send it in Messenger. I'm going to send this video to a whole bunch of people that need to learn protocol because if they don't, they're going to destroy their credibility. You will never, you will never get promoted by another man of God. Or you know, Come on. You're, you're acting like beggars. Stop it. Stop it. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or his seed out begging for bread. That ain't you. That ain't the kingdom of God. Stop it. Well, I'll talk with y'all later. You can go back and watch the rest of if you just caught that. So I'll see you later. Bye-bye.